Hello and welcome to my Let's Play of Blackwell Unbound. I'm Matthew Marco from the website abnormalmapping.com and uh, we're here on a very chilly Saturday morning. Try to finish up this game. I assume we're close to the end. Last time we freed the ghost of the construction site. And now we have to deal with the murderer, I guess? Switch to Joey. Lauren, as usual, is uh, smoking. No, I'm not doing that again. The kid can find her own damn loose change. Feeling better? I'm so confused, Joey. I feel like the answer is on the tip of my tongue. I just can't figure it out. Well, let's chat for a while. Brainstorm a bit. Maybe we'll come up with something. She's a medium like me. It makes no sense. It does make sense, actually. She's not an animal or another ghost. The only way she could see me is if she was a medium like you. Why would a medium kill? Maybe she doesn't think of it as killing. She did say she helped people, saved them. By killing them? Maybe she felt they were better off dead? I don't think so. Mavis and Isaac were sad mixed up people, but they didn't deserve to die. Maybe she thinks otherwise. Is she my future? What do you mean? That woman, the countess, or whatever she's called. Is that what happens to mediums when they get old? I... I don't know, darling. I really don't. But I won't let that happen to you. You have my word on that. I mean, I guess that's kind of what... I mean, she didn't murder people, but she was catatonic for decades. If she's a medium, where is her spirit guide? You know, I wondered that myself. I'm your connection to the spirit world. The Countess, or whoever she is, doesn't have that. Or at least none that we can see. Is it possible to be a medium without a guide? I don't think so, sweetheart. That's one thing I'm sure of. Medium and guide. That's how it works. What could have happened to her spirit guide? I don't know. I thought you couldn't leave my side. I know. Either her spirit guide managed to escape, or... Or what? Or it was killed. Is that possible? I don't know. I don't think I want to know. Something like that demon in the first game was destroying spirits. So what could her connection be? Dunno. Something has to connect her to the spirit world. It's not another ghost or we would see it. So it must be something else. Something that has a connection to everything we've seen. Or someone. Yeah, that's it. The Countess connects these two cases. There has to be something or someone else that has the same connection. Shady newspaper guy. Obviously. Joseph Mitchell? Bingo! The reporter? How could he have this kind of power? I don't know how he got the power, but it all fits. He wrote about both Mavis and Isaac, and the Countess killed both of them. He seems like the best candidate. But it doesn't make any sense. Think about it. You're a medium. What is it that mediums do? We help spirits into the next world. Exactly. A medium needs a guide. Hers is gone. Somehow, Mitchell fills in the gap. Our Countess is being told, through Mitchell's writing, to help certain spirits into the next world. It's not her fault they're still alive. You mean... I think you get the picture. Oh god. That's sick. It makes sense, though. How is this possible? There's only one way to find out. It's time we paid our friend Mitchell one more visit. Alright. Let's go. Just drop that Let's on the carpet. Right behind you. She's gonna set fire to her place. She does that. <laughs> Lauren, come on. Yes. Miss Blackwell. Hello again, Mr. Mitchell. I was just about to head home. Oh, I'll just be a second. Well, if you insist, do have a seat. Thanks, but I'd rather stand. Go on, let him have it. Mind if I smoke? Well, actually... Thanks. Miss Blackwell, my patience is wearing thin. My family is waiting for me. Tell me what you want. You finished your writing for the day, Mr. Mitchell? Yes, yes I have. And now I'm going home. He's full of hot air. 
The page is blank. You haven't written anything today, have you? Why do you say that? The paper is blank. What? How do you know that? I have exceptional eyesight. There's dust. Don't forget the dust. And there's dust on the typewriter. Well, can't contradict you there. So? So, I don't think that's any of your business, Miss Blackwell. Now, if you'll excuse me. Mr. Mitchell, two people are dead. So I gathered. You wrote about both of them. Yes, I did. You don't find anything suspicious about that. I've written about hundreds of people over 30 years. The fact that two of them happen to be dead does not surprise me. It's just a coincidence. Funny thing about my life, Mr. Mitchell? If something looks like a coincidence, it normally isn't. Well, I hate to disappoint you. Ooh, look at the sweat on this guy's brow. If he ain't lying, I'm dying, so to speak. You aren't a very good liar. And you are poking your nose into things you don't understand. You'd be surprised at what I understand, Mr. Mitchell. Try me. Who are you, anyway? You come in, out of the blue, and bring up all this. All of what? I don't know. I... I honestly don't know. I write about people and they die. Can you understand that, can you? My whole life I've been driven to write about people. Now I can kill them instead. You've done nothing wrong. There's a woman called the Countess. She kills whoever you write about. A Countess? Killing people that I write about. That's a tall story. And that's a lot to take in. Why would she do something like that? How did this happen? Probably because of your connection to humanity. I don't know. You said probably. So you're not sure? Not as such, no. Well then. I appreciate you trying, but I prefer if you left well enough alone. Uh, we can't do that. I can't leave it alone, Mr. Mitchell. Oh, rest assured you can. You seem like a capable young lady, and I'm sure you think you know what's what. But I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. Don't you want to write again? Oh, yes. But people are safe as long as I don't write about anything real. I've always wanted to try a hand at fiction. Had a story in my head for years. I'll probably give it a whirl, see how it goes. But no more deaths. Not on my watch. Could we get him to write about the Countess? Don't you want to help? There's a killer out there. Who only kills people I write about. So I stop writing about I mean, about I guess that's kind of morbid. Solved. You're not a murderer, Mr. Mitchell. No, I'm not. Five years back, I tried to write about a man. An old man in a bar. He was killed the next day, choked to death. I didn't think anything of it at the time. Then I wrote about another man, Mr. Isaac Brown. You know him. He died the same way. Still figured it was just a coincidence. But then it happened with Mavis Wilcox. For the third time in a row. No, I didn't kill them. Not on purpose. But if I wrote a fourth time, that would be murder. Plain and simple. Why is this happening? I think it's a penance of some kind. I've shared the intimate details of people's lives with the world. Perhaps I revealed one secret too many. I don't think about it anymore. I just come to work like nothing's wrong. Everyone's been very polite so far, but I'm sure the ball will drop someday. I'm trying to help you. And I never asked for it. People die when I write. So, I don't write. The problem's solved. I don't really want to do this, but I guess I'm out of choices. If you won't help me, I'll have to go to the police. Oh? And tell them what? All those deaths? All killed the same way? So soon after you met them? I'm sure they'd be interested in that information. Is that right? Well, I'd be careful if I were you. Careful? This is not a good tactic. defenses, if you know what I mean. Is that a threat? Are you threatening to write about me? I didn't say anything. You know what? Go right ahead. What do you mean? You want to write so bad? Write about me. Dust off that typewriter and get to work. Knock yourself out. Listen, I spoke out of turn. I didn't honestly mean... Hell with that. Just do it. Hey, this is dangerous. I know what I'm doing. I can't do it. Like hell you can't. You've been writing for how long? 30 years? More? I know you can do it. I want to meet this thing head on. It's the only way. Do it. You don't know what you're asking. What's the worst that could happen? You could die. Oh. Is that all? But... Quiet. 
I suppose for her it's not right. a big deal. I was born in Troy, upstate New York. My mother's name was Patricia. My father... You getting this stuff down? Well, here we go. Well, I hope you're happy. I'm never happy. <laughs> oh, Lauren, you're so morose. She's, uh, the best. Hey. And what happens to me, huh? You die, what the heck happens to me? You'll move on to whoever's next. That's how it works, doesn't it? It's not about that. Maybe you'll end up with my baby brother. I'm sure you guys will get along great. Yeah, great. We're supposed to be a team. You can't make this kind of decision without asking me first. Button it, Joey. If this broad's a medium like me, then I have some questions for her. If I'm gonna end up like that, I wanna know. And if she kills you for your trouble? Well, then I won't have to worry. When do you think she'll get here? I don't know. I feel her coming, though. She knows who I am. How can you feel that? I just do. She was right. She's like me. Maybe mediums call out to each other. So, any thought on how to handle her? Nope, not a one. I just want to talk to her. Well, she can see and hear me, so I can help. You're not alone. Yeah. You understand you're not alone. I'm tired, Joey. I'm so tired. All right. I'll just leave you to it. Yeah. Well, that didn't go very positively. She's here. So polite of her to knock. This is her bed. She can lie in it. I probably should have saved. There's a very I, possibility I'll I die. Know you. Yes, you know me. Come in. I'm watching you. So, what's your story? I want to help you. Help me, huh? You're in pain? Lost? I can help. Do you have a guide? A spirit guide? I still feel her. She is gone, but not completely gone. What do you mean? Kid, her mind is snapped. She's not gonna make any sense. Yes, she snapped my mind. She went away and my world expanded. I see everything, everything. It hurts. Who was your spirit guide? She had a name. I no longer know. I wish I knew. I cannot think. Not without her. Why did she leave? Why? Where is your spirit guide now? I don't know. Her voice is gone. I'm lost. I found that other voice. But he is so quiet. You mean Mitchell? The true guide. She is gone. Gone. How did she go away? I don't know. She found a way. Why did she do that? Were you like me before your spirit guide went away? Like you? You know, sane. Joey. I was happy. I was smaller. Saw the world in muted colors. And there was music. Sweet music. We helped people. It felt good. Now she is gone. Now I help people, but it feels bad. Who are you? I am the Countess. You're bonded with Joseph Mitchell. Is that his name? The guide who is not a guide? Yes, the non-guide. He speaks to the world. He spoke to me. He tells me what to do. Oh, he is so often silent. It's been years since I heard his voice. But tonight, I heard him. He told me to help you. He didn't tell you that. Why else would I be here? I... I'm here to help you. You're here to kill me. No! I don't kill! I will set you free! Hey, watch it, lady. Will I become like you? Please tell me. That's all I want to know. 
You? You are loved. Loved? Loved by who? You are in pain, my child. Let me help you. I'd like to help you instead. Help me? I need no help. You need to be free. Hey. Oh, hey. Let her go, you old witch. Damn it. I can't do anything. Fight her. Lauren, fight back. Fight back, damn you. Well. <laughs> do I have anything? Yeah. All right. That's what happens when you mess with us. Stay away from her. No, she needs my help. Oh, Jesus. Hey, you want to help someone? Why don't you help me? You want to free a spirit? Well, I'm the real McCoy. You? Yeah, that's right. Come and save me. I'm right here. I... Wait. I'm supposed to help her. I'm waiting. I'll save you. Oh great. Well, this is going I'm to go real okay. bad. What are you gonna do about it? I can help you. Joey Malone doesn't give a shit about murdering people, apparently. You're past your prime. I don't think you can handle it. You come on then, make with the saving. You need me? Why do you move so far? You don't need help. Huh. Hey. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Can't... I need help. Help? Come on, take me to the place with the bright light. I can help you. You're so good at helping. Let's see you help me. I will set you free. Oh, woe is me. I'm in so much torment. Save me, damn you. Are you hurting? What are you waiting for? Come on! Oh, shh! I will help you! What? You don't need her! Hey. Nope, too far. I need to do it step by step. That's my problem. I need help! Help? Come on, you old bat! Save me! Your hurt will end soon. I'm waiting. I'll save you. I'm in pain. What are you gonna Pretty do? Pretty sure these about steps it? are quantified, I so I just need you? to not skip them. You're past your prime. I don't think you can handle it. You. Come on, then make with the saving. You need me? Well, come on. What are you waiting for? I, I want to help you. Why won't you let me help you? Uh, Joey? I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Is she? Yeah. There's no... No ghost. She's gone. Gone. Well... I killed her. That's pretty messed up. It was up. either her or you, darling. You made the right choice. Did I? What if, what if that's me one day, huh? What if I'm old and confused and alone? You won't be alone. I'll make sure of that. You say that now. But look at her. Her guide was gone. I can't speak for the future, kid. Maybe someday we'll meet someone like her, and then maybe we'll find out more. But right here, right now, I'm here, and I'm staying put. That's something, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, it's something. This is a bad idea. You don't need to do this. Hello? Hi, Jack? Lauren, sis, is that you? Yeah, Jack, it's me. Where have you been? It's not important. I miss you. Tell me about your life, Jack. How's Maria? When's the wedding? This is a really bad idea. Well
when the sun sits Well, that's the uh, end of Black Hole Unbound. It's clear at this point that this is a game that's going to be serialized since this isn't uh, like a solid ending, the same way the first one had. Uh, still full of the same tone of melancholy which pervades the entire series. I really like this one, specifically because I like the relationship between Lauren and Joey, who are obviously into each other uh, more than just spirit guide and medium, but uh, you know how that's going to work out when Lauren stops uh, being a medium once she gets uh, Rosa when her parents die and ends up going uh, crazy because of it. So, I mean, you inherited Joey that's been watching over the person he has feelings for for two decades, so no wonder he's bitter, I suppose. Also, I think and uh, Lauren's just a great character. Uh, she is cooler than everyone else in this series, admittedly. So it's a pity that we have to uh, leave her here and move on to playing again with uh, Rosa. But Rosa's grown quite a bit since the last time we saw her when we get to the third game. Uh, the game itself is obviously uh, more involved than the first one was. Uh, you know, multiple cases, more locations. Uh, I think that stuff's all good. The change in making you press people for information, I'm less uh, enthused about. I don't know if that recurs again. I don't remember games three and four that well. Uh, just little bits and pieces. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. There'll be more of that. I think the portraits return with game three. Maybe that's game four. But uh, it's still the same game. The series has remained remarkably consistent throughout its uh, time, which is good. I mean,. This type of game, I think, is just a uh, Dave Gilbert special, but I also like that the mechanics are so thematically consistent. It's a thing to strive for, I think. And then we get a code, which uh, unlocks extra features or something. 48 cigarettes. Joy hit five times. That's pretty good. That's a lot of cigarettes in one night. Oh, and uh, it goes back to this. Okay, cool. So that's it. Uh, I'll be back next time with uh, the third Blackwell game, which I don't actually remember which one that is. Uh, maybe it's the Blackwell Deception. Maybe it's Convergence. I I don't I don't know, but we'll find out. Uh. Thank you again for watching. Uh, if you enjoy this, please, uh, you know, like it, whatever they say on YouTube. Uh, if you want more of me and uh, in podcast or written form, you can go to abnormalmapping.com. And if you want to play this, uh, the Blackwell series is on Steam, or you can go to Dave Gilbert's website at wajadigames.com. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day.